Hey, what's up? It's Jay Lucky Henry. So today we're going to talk about accurate comps and how they you should be applying them when looking to buy that new home. Get ready. This is Jay Lucky Henry, Keller Williams agent in the greater Boston area. You won't believe how many people need to get real. R-E-A-L, real estate explained amazingly by Lucky in 90 seconds, give or take. Welcome back, it's Jay Lucky Henry. So, in the last series, we were talking about things you should be doing before you put the house on the market to make a great first impression. Now we're talking about things you should be doing before, things you should put into consideration before you purchase that new home. And just like in the last series, in this series, accurate comps are one of the most important things to consider no matter what side of the transaction you're on. So. The difference being in how you're going to use them. On the buyer side of the transaction, you want to find accurate comps that are all priced below to start with, right? You can start at the other end, but follow me, right? It's my example, so follow me. You want to find accurate comps. So that means we got similar bedrooms, similar square footage, similar amenities, things like garages, um, pools, eh, right? But garages, square footage, bathrooms. Um, and the finishes, right? The condition of the home, pretty similar. So if you can find something like that. Let's say the condition is not even the same. You got bedrooms, bathrooms, garages, all those things are comparable and you're in the same part of town. Now you can use things like the finishes to say, your home is priced at 500. This home sold for 525, but this home had all new appliances, all new finishes, almost like new it was a flip home your home is not that your home has been lived in your home is very comfy and very personalized to you so all other things being equal these are accurate comps but you can use that one difference as a reason as to why you're going to lower the price right because you're on the buying side now you want to get that lower price now let's say you find something that's priced actually lower because that's why i said we should start right i know you got me giving the wrong examples right Okay, so for that example, right, we had you, the property you were looking at was a little bit lower and the comp was a little higher, but in a lot better condition, so we use that to go down. Now, what happens if the comp, same properties, except the prices are flipped? So the comp sold for lower than the property you're looking at, which condition is not as good as this one. So the one you're looking at is in worse condition than the one that sold for less than that. What should your language look like then in terms of negotiation? The language should say, hey, this is brand new and this isn't, and they only paid this for that. I'm offering this, at least this. See, that would be one of one of the strategies where the seller shot high to get you to come in under but above their threshold. All right. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch this video. All right. You gotta be watching these videos every day now because I'm gonna be building on things I talked about sometimes. But when using accurate comps on the buyer side, it's just about using the right language. If the house you're trying to buy is priced higher than something that's an accurate comp, then use that to lower it down. And if you're priced below it, then use what this house has that the house you're looking at doesn't have as a reason to justify that price there and then a reason to maybe even push it down a little bit more. All right. So these are the strategies to use when working with comps on the buyer side to purchase a new home. Tomorrow's video, we're going to talk about, I would tell you, but I want you to watch it. So tune in tomorrow. Again, as always, comment down below if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share it with a friend. It's been real. It's been 90. Gotta go. I'm here to keep it real with you. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, call or text 978 712 0244 and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more.